Your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Well, hey, good evening, everyone. I want to start with the 10 day forecast. There's a lot to talk about and a lot of reasons to enjoy the weekend. Trash Pandas will get their games in Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's a doubleheader Saturday. I think the first game is at four o'clock. It will be cool out there if you're going to the game tomorrow evening or no matter what you're doing, you're going to need a jacket. We'll be in the 50s tomorrow evening. Morning lows in the 40s tonight, 40s again Saturday night. 80s continue until we get to Wednesday. We drop to 78 and then we're back up to 84 Thursday. But I do want to tell you we're starting to see signs of what we call dogwood winter. It happened about the same time last year. We're going to get this cool spree here and some highs by Sunday next week and may only be in the 50s with lows in the 40s. So again, dogwoods are I mean, I, I meant dog, I meant blackberry winter. We've already had dogwood winter. I get them all confused, don't we? But again, it's blackberry winter. Now that I've started that argument, we'll go on to Facebook with that. But we still have some showers out there and they continue to track off to the east southeast. And this area here is firing back up near Newmarket. So brief, heavy rainfall. This should be the end of it for the rest of the night. Tomorrow the sun comes back and again, blackberry winter. That's what happens when we get this cool spell. And nowadays they call it like false fall and false spring and false winter, things like that. But it's traditionally called Blackberry winter because the blackberry is going to be blooming probably by next weekend and it's always ahead of schedule to, anymore because uh, things start blooming a lot faster out there as temperatures are warmer than they typically are this time of year. Next right out west, not showing any rain. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. 49 to start the day, 60 at 11 a.m., 64 at 3 p.m. So a cool day tomorrow. It'll be breezy, noticeably breezy, but not as windy as today. And hey, the sun's going to be out and it's Friday. Here's where we start the day. A little chilly out there for uh, kids waiting for the school bus. 41 in Scottsboro, 42 in Fort Payne. Wind not too bad tomorrow. West at 8 in the morning. It starts to pick back up as we get into the afternoon. As I just mentioned, gusts 20 to 25. A few high clouds passing towards Tim's Ford Lake, Scottsboro around noon tomorrow. Notice the west wind sustained at 18. So this is why you may not want to, you, you may think you want to go outside and eat on the patio at lunch, but it won't be that comfortable even in the sunshine. Much more comfortable over the weekend though. As we get past 245, kids are getting out of school. Temperatures in the 60s. Shouldn't be too bad, but again, if you're going out to the Trash Pandas game tomorrow, as that sun sets, it will cool off and it will cool off rather quickly all the way down into the 40s early Saturday morning. Some of you get out there mowing. Some of you are mowing today in the rain. I saw that myself on Highway 72 coming back from Florence. But we got the green light and the green mowers out there too. Rain on the roof, that forecast looks pretty dry. Until we get to Tuesday at the earliest, a shower or two, but Wednesday, scattered showers, we get a break, and then more rain. It's looking like it could be a wet weekend next weekend. And